I'm joined now by our political commentator, Sue O'Connell, and we're going to talk about this new Quinnipiac national poll, which shows President Biden widening a lead over former President Trump. This is a little bit different than the last poll we saw. It so. has. It's been neck and neck. We've seen a couple of points one way or the other. But what this shows, Glenn, is that it's now becoming a two-person race, and Americans are paying attention. Voters are saying, OK, if it's between these two, who am I going to choose? I also want to throw that caution that, you know, uh, polls are basically snapshots of what's happening right now doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to change. But if I asked you what you wanted to eat in November today, it might be different than what you actually order in a restaurant. I can guarantee you it would be different. All right, let's look at what's driving the numbers in this snapshot in time. Women voters are helping Biden carry that lead. Yeah, you're going to see the, the issue of abortion, safe abortion access, reproductive rights, women's rights, a main issue for the Biden campaign and for the Democrats. Certainly, it's an issue for men as well, but it's really going to drive people to the polls like it did in the midterms. So so that's going to be the Democrats' weapon. Well, one of the downfalls for the Democrats could be enthusiasm, because when you look at Trump's numbers among GOP voters, his enthusiasm is very high. It is indeed, but that's kind of the ceiling, I think, of what Trump is going to reach. He is not changing his message in any way to reach a broader uh, voter, the general election voter. So that might be as high as Trump gets. OK. So when we look back at this head to head, we have to think about the potential of a third candidate. If that happens, it seems as if Biden has has the most to lose. Yes. I mean, anytime there's a third party candidate, uh, you never know who is going to impact. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is the one that people talk a lot about. He might take some away from Biden. But remember, as soon as you get above a certain level, people start paying a lot of critical attention to you mm -hmm. and whether or not you can sustain your narrative uh, and still be appealing to people uh, to vote for. That's going to that's what we'll see in November, Glenn. All right. If you're like me, you can't get enough of Sue O'Connell. <laughs> you can see more of her every Sunday on At Issue.